Hello guys, what is going on and welcome to the first non-book review video that I'm doing on my channel. So, today I will do a haul because that's what YouTubers do. Um, a couple of weeks ago now I went down to London with my brother and we did the National Holidays Harry Potter Studios tour. And, I mean, I probably will do a separate video just reviewing the tour itself, but now I want to do a video on everything that I bought. I spent easily over 200 quid. I was planning on spending maybe 80, but then I ended up borrowing, like, a bunch of my brother's money and then promising to pay him back, which I have done now, but, like, at the time I was like, oh my god, I need that, I need that, I need that. Anyway, well, let's get into this, I guess. So, my, all my stuff is actually, well, the majority of my stuff is in a glass cabinet, so I'm just have to get it all out right now, hopefully not breaking anything. So, firstly, what we'll start off with is the ones, I guess. Um, I got t uh, two. I got Severus Snape, the bravest man, because he's the bravest man, and who doesn't love Snape? Um, I got his wand. I will take it out of its casing now. I actually haven't taken out the second one, so I'm excited to do that. Um, but here we go. Um, by the way, um, I display everything in my... I will plan... But I'm planning on doing, like, um, a room tour, like, sometime near future once I've got more stuff in it. Um, but right now, I uh, haven't. So this is the box that it comes in. Well, this is the way I display it anyway. I display it. The box comes down like it, like it would do in the movies, like it the way it is. But uh, I display it. Oh, I display it like this. Sorry, it wasn't even framed them. I display it like this, so you can actually see the wand. Um, and yeah, so I don't know if you'll be able to read it, but here, if it will focus, I don't know if that's going to focus on that. I can't tell at all. Um, but what it says is fragile collect collectible wand, not a toy. I told this to my dad once I showed it him, and he's like. It's a toy, mate. <laughs> it's a toy. It's a wand, and you paid thirty quid for it. Well, I think it was like twenty six quid anyway. So I bought this. Um, there's actually, I bought this uh, at the f first store. There's actually an interlude store in between, which is very smart of them. Um, at the the platform nine and three quarters store, and this is where I bought my first one because the Fantastic Beast wand ones were not available at that store. But yeah. It's really, it's, it's heavier than you imagine. Like, you think it's going to be, like, a lot lighter than it is, but no, it's, like, relatively heavy. Um, it's one of the, like, less showy ones, like, Grindelwald's one, for example, is amazing. Um, other, other ones, like, um, Bellatrix's one looks really cool. Voldemort's, obviously, the Elder Wand um, as well. But, yeah, so, this is really cool. I love it a lot. And on to the next one. Right, okay, so this casing is slightly more... Fancy. It's a, it's a lot wider as well, which and it barely fit inside my glass cabinet, but yeah. Here it is, Newt Scamander's wand. This actually ties into like a sort of story I have going on during this video as well, so make sure to um, stay tuned to that, I guess. It's kind of weird. It's very difficult to get this out. Apparently this was like a um, like special edition packaging or something like that. So there isn't actually any handles in order to get the wand out, so I've just actually had to dig it, dig it here, but... um. First things first, I first things first is a realist. Um, I can see from here is that it's got a lot of markings. Like I don't know whether, whether it'll be able to focus on that, but it's got a lot of markings, like from maybe when he's coming into contact with uh, animals, which I think is a really cool detail. But also here, like the the butt of the wand is like hollowed out. Like there's a tiny bit there. It's a lot lighter than, than Snape's wand, and it's a lot um, more, it's a lot heavier on this side while Snape's is more balanced. Um, and it's it's a lot more it you, you can tell the difference between the two ones like and the personality that they have. Uh, this one is a lot more adventurous, for example, because it's just like seeing things. It's like got a lot of bites, a lot light, a lot like wilderness wood. I guess I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, well, snakes are a lot more darker, a lot more conservative like him. Um, so I like it. Anyway, they're both thirty quid. This one I bought at the actual store at the end of the tour. Um, but yeah, let's go on to the other stuff I bought. So the two less pricey items that I bought was um, the Platform 9 and 3 quarters ticket. I'm not never taking it out of its packaging because it's amazing. I haven't got my glasses on, so I cannot tell where it's focusing on that. I'm going to assume it is. And it still reeks of the disgusting butter beer that they serve. But I got a butter beer um, cup that you got get butter beer in. As you can probably tell, hopefully, from the camera if it focuses it has been drank from 
and it was absolutely disgusting. I would not, I would recommend drinking it, obviously, because everyone who hasn't tried Butterbeer must do it if they've seen the Harry Potter films and a Harry Potter fan. It's, like, out of the question not to, um, but it's not nice. I mean, some people love it. Some people are going for seconds and stuff like that, but I, I really did not like it at all. Right, now, moving on to the more fantastical side of things. I think it's a fantastical side. Anyway, um, I'm now going to show you some of the, like, the odd turns of events that happened. So, whilst always at the end um, in the final store, this is a bit weird, a bit weird to start off with, but go do it anyway. Um, let's start off with actually, I was going to show you something else, but let's start off with this thing. Let me just put this down. I'm probably going to make a noise. You can probably tell what it is if you've been to the store from that noise. Um, it's very heavy. But let's uh, not start off with that either. Let's start off with this. So, this I've actually been using quite a lot is a Hufflepuff mug. I bought this. The only, by the way, the only item I'm about to show you now, uh, there's two two of the items out of the four that I'm going to show you, I bought in the till line. Like, it, it did a very good job at, like, selling me stuff while I've already chosen what I want to buy. Anyway, so, here's the Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff mug here. It's very, very heavy, heavier than, um, than most. It says loyal on it, and on the side it says Hufflepuff. Um, the... The badger and the, also the writing sort of stick out quite a bit from the mug. And it just it just feels really cool. It's really well built. It was 12 quid. So it should be well built. Um, but yeah, it's a lot bigger than a lot of the mugs I own as well. So that's really cool. Next thing I bought. Well, let me just remind you. I bought the new Scamander wand. Um, I will talk more about the, the relevance to that in a second. The significance, sorry. Also in the line, I bought this. This bloody thing. I don't know why I bought it. It looks freaking cool in my room. It's like on the wall. It's a Hufflepuff plaque. It is... It's f so solid and heavy. It's absolutely insane. I don't know why I bought it. But I bought it anyway. If you can't tell, by the way, I'm in Hufflepuff house. Which is also a significance. Um, but yeah. So I bought this. And I mean... I don't know why I bought it. It's really, really well made. It looks super cool. Um, but yeah, so it's the Hufflepuff emblem, which is, you know, obviously amazing. Um, so like I said, I bought a Newt's wand. And then finally, 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 making sure I haven't forgot anything. Uh, so this is me in editing. Um, the audio is going to be a bit off, but uh, I forgot about that. Forgot, forgot about that thing right there. Um, the Hufflepuff scarf. Um... Yeah, it's a big part of my whole storyline, and I completely forgot about it. I got, uh, let's actually close it. I got a chocolate frog, like anybody would get. Let me focus in on that. Um, and now, I will reveal who I got inside it. I only bloody got Helga Hufflepuff. I actually got, you can't see it, there we go, Helga Hufflepuff. I actually got a that is absolutely... Newt Scamander from Hufflepuff. I got a Hufflepuff mug. I got a Hufflepuff emblem. I am from Hufflepuff. And when I was in the hotel room afterwards, I went to... Oh, we stayed at the Holiday Inn, which is absolutely amazing, by the way. It's, like, one of the best, like, side roadside hold, uh, like, hotels I've been in. Uh, but in the room, I opened my chocolate frog... Before even looking at the car, they take a bite on my chocolate frog, nearly break my teeth. I ended up giving it my sister because, like, I'm, I'm not trusting my teeth to that. And and then I look inside, and I'm like, oh, I got Helga Hoverproof, I said, I said to my brother. And I'm like, oh my god, what is happening? And then, uh, I mean, obviously I'm not an idiot. I don't believe in fate or luck or anything like that. Well, to a certain extent. Yet, this all happened. And... It was amazing. It was like one of the best, oh my god, WTF moments of my life. Seriously. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my... Uh, I'm literally looking around the room for anything that I haven't shown you. Forgot about that. Forgot, forgot about that thing right there. But I'm pretty much th that's it for my uh, Harry Potter haul. Um, I didn't spend 200 quid specifically. On, I realised at the start that it might be a little white lie. Well, well, I didn't mean it at the time, but um, I don't think I spent completely 200 quid on it. Um... Ticket was six. Let me just do some maths. I'll cut when I've done. Yeah, I spent. Oh, including that, I spent a hundred and fifty quid. So not two hundred quid. I was also factoring in something else, a bunch of stuff over, but uh, as well that I bought in London. That I will probably do a separate video on. Probably not next week, but the week after. Cause I don't want to do two haul videos in a row. But yeah, 
So that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. I thought like this was slightly different from other hauls. It had like an ongoing like story element to it. Um, but anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. If you want to see, if you want to know what I thought of um, Harry Potter Studios, then I will make a video for that uh, another time. But that's gonna be it for now, guys. Thank you guys for watching. You hopefully enjoyed, and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.